In this video, I'll show you how to connect a mouse and a keyboard to your iPhone 16, 16 Plus, Pro and Pro Max. Okay, so let's get started. There's different ways on how to do this, depending of your devices. For example, some mouse and keyboards are able to connect via Bluetooth. If this is the case, let me show you how easy it is, and then I'll show you how to connect them in case they are using a small USB dongle. So let's start by connecting this Logitech mouse to the iPhone. So this one is Bluetooth, but it also has a small USB dongle, so it can connect with both. With Bluetooth, you'll need to put the device in pairing mode. For this to happen on this one, I'll need to turn it on, keep press this small button until this flashes, it's in pairing mode. Take your iPhone, drag down from the top right corner, you're gonna see Bluetooth over there. Tap on these icons, Bluetooth is turned on, keep press on it, Bluetooth settings, wait a few seconds, and your device, mouse or Bluetooth keyboard will appear in this device list here. You just need to tap on the name, wait a few seconds, pair, connected, and this is it. If in the future you want to disconnect this mouse completely and never use it again, press the I icon on the right side, forget this device and it will disappear. So now I have connected this mouse. Now as you see, I'm not able to use the mouse even if I'm here in Safari and it should work. What you need to do if it does not work is to go into the settings, go back. So when you open settings, it should look like this. Go down, okay, until you see accessibility over there. Then go down, select touch. Then you're going to go over here where it says assistive touch, press on this. You need to turn this on and then you're going to see that the mouse appeared. If you don't see the mouse appearing, you need to go down and select devices and you should see your mouse over here. Tap on it and you may have customized additional button if your mouse has multiple buttons that you can customize. Okay, I won't do this now. Now, when you turn on assistive touch, you also need, uh, you'll see a small button over here that you can move around. If you don't like this button and you don't want to see it, just go over here where it says idle opacity, turn this at 15% and it will be very faint and you won't even see it. So now you have a mouse and you can use it the same way your finger would use uh, your iPhone. It's there all the time in any apps you want and you can even use the scroll wheel. If you want to connect the keyboard, it's the same exact thing. So uh, first, well, obviously, so first turn on the keyboard, put the keyboard in pairing mode. In this case, I'll pair it with this one over here. Okay, pairing mode. We need to go back into the Bluetooth settings the way I showed you, or you can go through the settings option here. Okay, in settings, Bluetooth, wait a bit, and under other devices, your keyboard will appear, tap on it. You'll get a number that you'll need to type on the keyboard, 6361002, enter, and then it should connect itself connected. So now if I go, look, I will use the mouse at the same time. If I go over here, I want to search on Google something. Oops, I can type anything like, like that, use the mouse, use both and browse on my iPhone without even touching the touch screen. If your mouse and keyboard are using a USB dongle like this one you'll need an adapter like that one that is USB type A to USB type C. This one is made by Anchor. I had uh, good luck with it. I also have the Apple one. I'll put links in the description if you want to get these. You simply need to connect the dongle to oops, this adapter this way and then connect the other end in your iPhone and do the same exact steps that I showed you previously. It's the same thing really. 
test out to see if it works. If not, go in accessibility, assistive, assistive touch, turn this on and go ahead and, uh, and then you should be able to use them. If your keyboard is wired or mouse is wired, same thing, just plug it using one of these adapter. So thanks for watching. I hope this was useful. If so, please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.